Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and there has been a lot of trailers coming out. Some of them are ones I probably normally wouldn't watch or care about, but I'm intrigued by this one. This one is called Richard Jewell, and it's supposed to be based on the true story of the bombing of the 1996 Olympics that took place in Atlanta, Georgia. I was like in middle school back then, so I don't know a whole lot about it, but the actor who's playing Richard Jewell is the chubby guy from Cobra Kai who was funny as hell so honestly that's what made me kind of want to see it I know he's from something else too I can't remember what something specific like a super bad type movie I could be wrong about that I know it's not super bad but I feel like it's like one of those kind of movies like a frat party kind of drinking movie but he's definitely in Cobra Kai Olivia Wilde's in it it looked like a couple other famous people I believe I could have read this wrong because I briefly saw it and I didn't want to spoil anything, but I believe it's directed by Clint Eastwood. So we're going to find out because I'm going in blind. There are some things I just don't want to know about. I'd rather see in the trailer and be like surprised. So here we go, guys. This is the trailer for Richard Jewell. Let's get a new tape going. All right, Richard, here's what we're going to do. We need a voice exemplar. Yeah, John Hamm. say into this phone, there's a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. That's the guy from Cobra Kai. Richard, you're a national hero now. Thank you, sir. But I was just doing my job. You always look at the guy who found the bomb just like you always look at the guy who found the body. Jewel fits the profile of the lone bomber. A frustrated white man who is a police wannabe who seeks to become a hero. We're running it. You're a suspect. You don't talk. I talk. Say it. I don't talk. A lot of famous people. Might be to clear your name. I want you to say there's a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. Stop trying to be their best friend. I was raised to respect authority. Authorities are looking to eat you alive. There's a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. I'm sorry, what? His accusers are two of the most powerful forces in the world. The United States government and the media. I do want to help y'all. I'm law enforcement, too. There is a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. Did he do it? Richard Jewell is an innocent man. He's a hero. There is a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. One more time, just a little louder. I report the facts. You've ruined this man's life. There is a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. Do a couple in a row. My son saved people's lives. There is a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. You set that bomb. There is a bomb in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. I don't know how to protect you. I think your client is guilty as hell. They want to fry you. You're going to start fighting back. Interesting topic to pick. So there's a lot of famous people in this. More than I thought, actually. John Hamm is like the detective. Kathy Bates looks like it's Richard Jewell's mother. Richard Jewell is the guy from Cobra Kai. I'm not exactly sure his name. It was probably the last name on the cast. Looked like a long name I didn't remember. Sam Rockwell is either the attorney helping Richard Jewell or some sort of political figure. I think he's Richard Jewell's attorney. And from what I understand, Olivia Wilde is the journalist. It did say a Clint Eastwood film, but does that mean he's directing it or he's just producing it? I think he said he wasn't going to direct anymore. I know he did The Mule and he acted in it. I don't know. It doesn't matter what these people say nowadays because Sylvester Stallone said it was going to be the last Rocky film back at Rocky Five, And he's now done two more. A third Rocky's coming. And there's a, almost a trilogy of creeds with him in it as Rocky. So half the time you cannot believe what they say. But I'm not really clear on that. It might have said it, but I missed it. I was very intrigued by the story. I know very little about it. I was very young when that happened. And it wasn't like a big deal later, as far as I remember. I believe he was found innocent or he wasn't like he had nothing to do with it. But I'm not really clear on it. And I almost don't want to even look it up because I want to be surprised. But I'm assuming it's going to be spoiled for me before this comes out. A lot of famous people looks really good. I always dig true stories and I do like Clint Eastwood and Clint Eastwood does 
make a good movie. So I'm curious to see how involved he is in this. If he's directing it, then he's very involved. So you guys let me know what you think. I thought it was interesting. Comments down below. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.